We acknowledge that the land upon which we gather is traditional unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq First Nation. Greetings, everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. It is my pleasure to say a few words today for the Workplace Equity Congress 2023. This year's theme, elevating employees, strengthening cultures, speaks to the strong advocacy of the Canadian Congress on inclusive diversity and workplace equity. Empowering employees has a rippling effect radiating outward to the broader community and culture. I admire the commitment of the Canadian Congress in holding these impactful events across the country that equip corporations and institutions with tools they need to further these goals. I was asked to highlight one, two programs Charlottetown City Council and staff has work done regarding workplace inequities. First, in October 2022, the city launched a governance review, which will review and make recommendations on the organizational structure and align with best practices, comparable municipal standards, policies, and bylaws. This process will, will result in, among other things, identifying gaps in our policies related to staff development and workplace equity. Second, the city's new strategic plan, a community for everyone, identifies four pillars for the city's next four years that will result in transformational change. The first pillar, community building and placemaking, includes the goal of continuing to create a multicultural city that is welcoming to newcomers and celebrates and honors the diversity of its people and traditions. In line with this pillar, when I took office, I announced that I would advance the creation of a mayor's task force to address equity, diversity, and inclusion, which will serve as an advisory capacity to council. On behalf of myself and Charlottetown, Charlottetown City Council, I would like to thank you for all your time today. We hope you enjoy the Congress and make the most of the fantastic program the organizers have prepared today. Thank you, merci beaucoup, and stay.